Tous les prêts alors. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. First, I want to ask God to forgive me for so far God have they wanted me to come and share testimony here. I keep on in Ghana it. God should have mercy upon me in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I am Chukwe Matthias by name. I worship at Pesquima branch and I live at number 24 on Afawa Street. Agege. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. First testimony, I want to appreciate the most high God, the ancient of the days that live forever, for the wonders he has done for me, for how God Almighty, by his infinite mercy, brought me to this ministry by the old man in the year 2009. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that um, I am so committed before 2009. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that um, in the year 2009, one old man with gray hair, one tall man with gray hair, uh, brought a bus to Keja on that bridge. He's written the Lord choosing motto. He asked me to enter the motto. I said no, and I ran away. I woke up, it was in the dream. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, the same man visited me in the dream a second time. He said, come, let's go somewhere. He took me to, I never knew there was a canteen opposite Old Auditorium. He took me to canteen there, and I saw choosing people eating whatsoever they are like and enjoying. And they asked me to eat. I said no. And I went away. I woke up, it was in the dream. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then thirdly, the same man in the same year 2009 visited me, the third one. He said, we are going to finalize this matter today. I have warned you to join choosing and they refuse. He now draw a line. He told me that if I fail to cross that line, that I will not return back to the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the old man that was making an argument with him, he told me that the Lord chose him that is a choosing. That the servant of the Most High God, which I am seeing here, he praised him just to represent him in a physical land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I should come and join him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say that again. I didn't hear that statement well. I said the old man in the dream, when I was making an argument with him, why I will not join choosing it in that revelation, after he had drawn a line and told me that if I fail to cross the line, that I will not return back to the world. Praise Ooh. the Lord. Hallelujah. And he told me that the Lord chose him. He is a chosen. He just praise his servant here to represent him in the physical land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, I said no, that, that I will not cross that line. He said that I will not return back to the world. Hmm. And uh, besides, he want to. He already getting angry to turn his back for me to walk away. And I look this line, no woman be, look this side, no woman be, nowhere to learn to. And I run and cross that line. He held my hand, I lift me up, and I wake up. It was in the dream. Praise mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap on to God of the chosen for the revelations that continue to come. And that day happened to be a Saturday night. The following day will be a Sunday morning. And I don't know where the Lord chosen is. And I begin to ask people, they told me at his digestion. That is how, after that, he can't sleep, take away from my eye. I could not be able to sleep again. And there in the morning, that is how I recruited choosing and come and sat down here. And behold, in that dream, he, he brought uh, the choosing, the most, the servant of the most high God, our daddy G.O. He said, this is my servant. I just press him here in the physical land to represent me here on earth. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hmm. And he, he told me, he told me in, in that dream that, uh, that it was so ever he said I should do, I should pray, that is my servant, that I know that is, uh, I am the one that I call him. Don't look, I am the one that I call him, that I should follow him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, the same day I came here that Sunday morning, sat down in this new and said, behold, the same station, the same crowd, the same shoe the man wear on that day in dream that introduced it to me. Power! Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
and uh, in the, I have joined choosing then, and I ask God to give me the grace to be a chosen. Because it is not easy to be a chosen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, I told God to give me the grace and continue coming. And uh, by the grace of God, 2010, 30 December, I was traveling home, and it happened that that day happened to come into choosing and choosing. I see the people, choosing people used to preach where they enter bus and where they are walking on the street. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that day be, be the first day of me to open my mouth and say praise the Lord inside the motor when I was traveling to east. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And after preaching, I preached one of our that day topic who said that God will destroy humanity again. And it happened that after then we went, we stopped at Ore to eat to continue our journey. And I was having feeling in my mind that something terrible is going to happen. You know, I told you that I am well committed before them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are so many kingdoms that want to crush me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that uh, it's not quite long because whenever I enter inside the motor and going for far distance, I used to pull off my shoe. I have not even yet put in on my shoe. What I hear is the tire of the motor bus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The homer bus starts somersaulting. And it came to pass that I was forcing myself through the window to force myself. That's why I was sustaining a little injury here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I was packing human beer and dropping them on the floor. But I came out on hold. Praise the Lord. Clap on to God of the chosen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't end there because it doesn't want me to exist. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the year 2012, I was shot bullets in a dream and I was dying. And I have a landing up to go to die. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in the dream, that the same old man told me that I should come to Tuesday Revival Hour, that the servant of the Most High God that he prays here that is going to spoil the case. Hmm. That is how I came to the old auditorium then with the bullet and the fate of the bullet and I am going. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that the servant of the most high God that the hero came out and said there is a young man here that was shot bullet in the dream. Hmm. In the name of Jesus I remove that bullet and return it back to sender. Power. Praise the Lord. And uh, when he said this, I discovered that uh, I fell under anointing. When I wake up, I find myself in the altar. That is the end of the bullet and the effect of the bullet. Power! Clap unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And another one, before, in the year 2014, I am having a gastric ulcer. The food I eat three days ago can hang here for a good three days. Wish I can still vomit it afresh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that one of our program 2014, I saw a seed. And in the dream, old man came. He said that he observed that I am having a gastric oxer. He said, I should open my mouth and open my mouth. He throws something inside my mouth. That is the end of the gastric oxer. Power! God of choosing is so great. Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then in the year 2015, I'm to get married. And I went to my uncle and told him that I want to get married. He said, to marry is not an issue. It's to have a child. Praise the Lord. Hmm. And I told him that I will have a child, but he will not be alive to witness it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it came to pass that uh, after all said and done, the man visited me in the dream. He said, he's going to remove what make me a man. Praise the Lord. And it came to pass that I ran back to Lagos State and so see that to God to fight a battle for me. And it came to pass 2018, this baby was born. Praise Power! God of choosing is so great. And he did not witness it. Before we travel home, he died. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And in the year, last year, praise the Lord, it happened that. Uh, I went home because I we have a very big family and there is no peace there. It happened that I went home to announce to them that where I belong, that I am not in the other side because I suppose according to the register of Satan, 
which my Jiho is often mentioned in the name that I can say he can sell my name in the register of Satan. My name is in the register of Satan to represent Satan in my family. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that when I travel home to tell the family as a whole that I, with my apron, told them where I belong, that I cannot belong this way. After returning back here, I have a terrible problem in my heart, which I cannot be able to raise this my two hand up. In one of our combined meeting here, Alam March or Eprem, I told God that if you take this problem away from me, that I'm going to give him 20,000 and I sacrifice 5,000 immediately, I want to announce to you that the problem has vanished away. Power! Thank you, Father. Thank God, Ochi. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are coming to this, my daughter here. It happened that she was born in 2018. And uh, she can hear, but she doesn't speak. Praise the Lord. And her sister, her teacher keep on asking me, is this girl not talking? I don't know how to respond yes. I say she's talking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it became a, a shame and disgrace to me. Heading to three years and four years. She can, when she wants to drink water, I can only demonstrate by her hand. She wants to people with demonstrate by the hand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, I saw a seed that told God to take that problem away from me. And I want to announce to you that she did, she can speak. Power! Hey! Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Answer to every prayer. So, all these things that the God Almighty the ancient of the days, the old man that died not, that is doing for me and my family. I say, may his name alone be glorified, magnified forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, please, uh, there is a friend of that. There is something that I forgot. I need to let you know that the heaven is real and hell is real. That is a friend of Germany. And he told me that. Uh, I, I should stop going to church that heaven does not exist. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I told him how I was brought to choosing. Even when I had not yet a choosing, the old man keep, that brought me to choosing introduced heaven to me, introduced hell to me. Hmm. And uh, when after I narrated the story to him, he said he agreed whatever I'm saying. And I want to announce it to you that if heaven does not exist, somebody like me will not go be going to church because I know the family and current. So if we are that kind of people that have it in mind, have it in mind that heaven is real and hell is real, you must give account of whatsoever you do after your existence here on earth. And God Almighty will give us the grace to be here as and the doers of the world in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my daddy Jiro that whatsoever that created by you shall continue to work for his good for your favor in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that God Almighty will grant your heart desire, all your heart desire shall be granted in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus Christ, I needed to ask you to, first of all, let us hear your daughter speak. He said, for four years, thereabout, can hear, could not speak, using sign to make communication. Can you, you know, let us say something? Oh, wow. God of choosing is so great. God of choosing is so great. I um, also heard you say many times that you were committed before you came to Chosen. I didn't understand what that meant. Committed to what? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that uh, I supposed to represent Satan in my family. And uh, in the year 1995 stroke 1996, when Ezego of Ihara was still alive, it happened that there is a Catholic church in the Embos in the Ukusikoroka government, St. Anthony Catholic Church by name, that I used to visit in every 26 December bazaar every year. It happened that as they go visited that place that year, he spread money. The highest currency there happened to be a 20 naira. He spread money, and I was in the primary school there. I could not be able to pick even a single one. It happened that I got annoyed. I went home that day with the bitterness in my mind. And before then, I have an altar. When I was in secondary primary school, I have an altar in my father's compound, which I offer sacrifice to. 
Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happened that when I visited home, I went home that day. I told God whether He liked it or not, I must get rich and die young. Praise the Lord. And the journey started. So, so to talk the story short for you. I so my soul in the kingdom to get rich and die young, in which by the mercy of God I am alive today. I don't I don't deserve to be alive. I don't deserve to be alive. I am living and existing by the grace of God. It was in the course of that that God was choosing started visiting you. Yes, sir. And then showing you signs, and eventually you came to the Lord choosing. Yes, sir. And saw that the servant of God that God Asian other showed you in the dream is yes, the same pastor that is physically here. I quote one of the statements you made. He said, The ancient of days, in drawing you to chosen in the revelation, told you that the pastor he placed here, that is him, and that he's representing him in the physical realm. Exactly that what is, he told me exactly. when I was making an argument with him why I will not join the chosen. He told me that the servant I'm seeing here just to rep is representing him in the physical land. That hmm. him is one that owes the chosen. That I should cross the line. That's how I cross the line and return back. I think I will stop the question so far because um, again we are hearing these testimonies the revelations you know in their hundreds of thousands about the unique calling of god upon the pastor of chosen and he also said in that revelation that the ancient of day told you that whatever the pastor says you should do it did i hear that from you Yes, sir. That's why he squatted me to come to Tuesday Revival Hour that the bullet, that he will mention the case of the bullet. And I went. He said, you young man, I will show bullet. I remove that bullet and return it back to sender. That is the end of the bullet and the defense. Praise the Lord. Well, my ears are not sharper than yours. All these revelation testimonies, God are bringing them, repeating them. God is bringing them, repeating them, emphasizing them for all of us to know where we are and take full advantage and not be deceived. And even wrong with the message of the testimonies and invite people to come and enjoy mighty presence of God. For a moment, when he was testifying, I thought he was the person that uh, released that song. I don't know whether you know the song I'm talking about. Run, run, run to the chosen. Jesus is the chosen. Borrow, maybe too late. Why not run, run, run to the chosen? Run, run, run to the chosen. Jesus is the chosen. Tomorrow, maybe too late. Why not run? My brother, are you the one that gave this song? No, sir. You know, he said again in his revelation and testimony. I don't know whether you heard him. He said the Lord told him that he is choosing. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, sir. He's the old man, very tall with gray hair. He told me that he's the choosing. That I should join across the line and become a chosen in the in the dream in the spiritual world, and he told me that his servant I'm seeing just to represent him in the physical land that he is where the, he's the one that owes the chosen. Praise the Lord. You are free to go. We praise the name of the Lord for bringing these revelations, these testimonies, even physical ones are fresh. When the angel told him to go to Tuesday. He said, Pastor, we mentioned the case. And he came, and Pastor mentioned the case, the bullet was removed, the effects, and everything disappeared. Brethren, let us truly cherish and appreciate what God has given to us. Sit here, you know, because why we somehow God brings the revelation? Sometimes you hear that there are some churches around, and people will leave what God has Himself planted. And begin to move around, delay their testimony, delay their miracles, and then deceive other people. This is God sent, God given. If you recognize and appreciate from your heart, you will have no boundary, no bounds. 
I'd like us to truly clap unto God and appreciate him. Clap unto God. Clap unto God. Praise the Lord. The next testifier.